number crunchers, good to be back with you. And in this lesson, I'd like to talk to you about a MATLAB command called F0. Now, MATLAB is probably as close as we have to a standardized computing language for technical problems. Um, there are many, but MATLAB is probably as popular as any. And MATLAB has hundreds, probably thousands of built-in commands. One of these is called F0, F-Z-E-R-O. And it's very simple. Its job is to find roots of nonlinear equations of a single variable. All right. So first thing we need is a nonlinear equation. I'm going to go back to an example I've used elsewhere in this uh, series of videos. And I'm going to write this down. Okay. Cosine x equals x. Now that has a solution. x is 0 0.73909. And if, if you're figuring this out on your calculator, remember that's got to be in radians for this to work. So there's the answer. It exists if you if you plot it. In fact, let's just plot it real quick. Show you there really is an answer to this. There's one. There's zero on the vertical. There's zero on the horizontal. And sine wave or cosine wave looks kind of like that. Y equals x. It's right there. So there's the left side of the equation on the left side of that equal sign. There's what's on the right side of the equal sign. Well, if this equals this, it means there must be a value of x where those are the same. That's that point right there. They cross. They clearly cross. There's clearly an answer. There it is. Now, why am I hammering on about this? Okay, let's do this. If I can get this out of your way. All right, there we go. Using just a pencil, some paper, or one of these in a whiteboard. Go ahead and solve that. I'll wait. Maybe I should try. Let's do the inverse cosine of both sides. Huh. That didn't get us anywhere. This isn't working, is it? The reason is to solve this, you've got to have x equal on one side of the equal sign and something you can evaluate on the right hand side of the equal sign. Without some pretty heroic efforts, you're not going to do that. Now you might be able to find some weird series approximation or something where you could get it to work. But there's no obvious way to do this. You have to use a numerical algorithm. You have to get the computer to do it. Um, in one of the other videos, I went over something called Newton's method that works very well. There are more sophisticated algorithms built into the MATLAB command, uh, F0. So let's set this up as something we can feed to F0. Let's do this. Let's say f of x equals, whoops, what's that going to do? cosine of x minus x, and that has to be 0. So solving this means find the root of this. And just in case you don't remember, what's a root? Well, a root is where the function crosses the horizontal axis. The root is the value of x for which f of x, or y, depending on how you want to write it down, is 0. So took this, subtracted x from both sides, got to that, and now what I'm saying is find a value of x for which this, that, is 0. That's called finding a root. Now it's also called finding a 0 because there's who knows how many people help develop modern mathematics. A lot of times there's more than one name for the same thing. This is one of those times. The root is the value of x that makes this 0. The zero of the function is also the value of x that makes this zero. It's the same name for two different things. So here we go. We've got a nice uh, example problem set up. We know we can't solve it analytically. We have to solve it numerically. So let's go to MATLAB right now and use F0 to do that. All right, here we are in MATLAB. And I'm using MATLAB version R2015A, release 2015A. You may be using a little different one. Um, when I start mine up, my layout, which is defined right up here, has uh, the current folder over there. And you can see I've got some other MATLAB M files that I used. And then my workspace and my command history. So you can see the stuff I've typed in recently. Uh, you may have a slightly different layout if you're using a different version or if you've modified your own layout. So you can make yours look like this if you want to. Now, in order to use F0, we've got to do two things. We've got to define the function we want to solve, and then we have to tell F0 to solve it. And in the middle of those, we're going to go ahead and do a plot as well, just so we know what we're looking at. So the first thing to do is let's define a function. I'm going to type it in here. 
and I'm going to tell you why it looks like it does. MATLAB stands for Matrix Laboratory. It was originally designed to work with uh, basically lists and blocks of numbers and a, lo a lot of the time that's still what you're doing but there's also something called an anonymous function this defines a function without defining a list of numbers associated with it normally when you want to plot stuff in MATLAB it's kinda of like plotting stuff in Excel you, you, you plot one list of numbers against another one go over here to the workspace and if you have a list of numbers called Y and an equal size list of numbers called X you can write plot XY and it'll plot it for you. Well this is not a list of numbers. This is actually a function that MATLAB will be able to use later. And for some reason they call it an anonymous function. I'm not sure where that term came from. In the syntax is you write F equals and then there's this ampersand sign. That's its hint that this is a, a function, not a nut list of numbers. And in parentheses there's the variable you want to use. And this is a one specific case. There are more general cases of the anonymous function. But for right now, this will work just fine. And in order to plot, normally you'd have, like I say, you'd have to have two lists of numbers. And we certainly can generate lists of numbers this way. But an easier way to do it is not too surprisingly something called easy plot that lets you plot functions that don't have a list of numbers associated with them. So I type in the, the command easy plot, open parentheses, f, that's the name of the function I want to plot. And I can just close the parentheses now, I think. But what I, what I want to do is I want to give it a range of x's to use, because it doesn't know. It doesn't know what I want. So I'm going to go from 0 to 1. Now this uh, square brace on the left and right defines a little vector, a little uh, horizontal vector. And you see this in this syntax in MATLAB a lot. So it's using the range as a two element vector. Hit that, and there it is. Well, that's nice. It's certainly right, and it's useful. But I really would like to have a uh, grid, li uh, grid lines on that. So let me just type in grid. Now in doing that, of course, my plot window got sent to the back, so I'll pull it up here. There it is. So right there, let's see, 0, go over there, down. Yeah, that looks like about 0.739, about where we figured it ought to be. So with that in hand, we now know what the right answer looks like, the picture of it. Let's go ahead and type in F0. So you type in F-Z-E-R-O, and it's going to need to know two things at least. You can see when I uh, sit, uh, let the uh, mouse sit for a second or don't do anything, it pulls up a syntax window for me, which is pretty handy. Now I'm not going to use the options one. I'm just going to use this, this first uh, syntax right there. So I'm going to type in F. And the next thing I need is a, an initial guess. Well, if I had a really good initial guess, I might not need to solve the problem. Well, I don't know what to use. So a lot of times you can just use zero and get away with it. So I'll just type in F and then just start at zero. I don't know what the right answer is. Start there. And there's the answer. 0 0.7391, and it's actually 0 0.73909, which of course in uh, four significant figures gives me 7391. So there it is. There's F0 for a single variable, solving a nonlinear equation that you cannot solve with a pencil. Hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.